Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss the equation of the tangent line. So to compute or to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of y is equal to f of x at the point p x sub 0 comma y sub 0, you can follow the following steps. So we have two step process. First, get the slope of the tangent line by computing using this formula where m is equal to the limit of y minus y sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to 0. Or m is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0. Number 2, substitute this value of m or yung slope na na-compute natin sa number 1 and the coordinates of the known point p x sub 0 comma y sub 0 into the point slope form to get y minus y sub 0 is equal to m times the quantity of x minus x sub 0. Okay, so meron lang tayong dalawang step na susundan to compute the equation of the tangent line. So for example, number 1. Find the equation of the tangent line to y is equal to x squared at x is equal to 2. First, let us identify our given. So, yung x sub 0 natin is 2. Kung ano yung nakalagay dito, kung ano yung binigay na x. So, that is our x sub 0. And then, yung y natin dito is yung x squared. Kung saan equal din siya sa f of x. Kasi yung f of x natin ay yun din yung y. And then yung y sub 0 natin or yung f of x sub 0 is 4. Kapag sinaptitute natin yung function natin at x is equal to 2, the answer is 4. So first, unang gagawin para makuha natin yung equation ng tangent line, uh, i-compute muna natin yung slope gamit yung formula na to. Okay? So yung unang formula yung gagamitin natin. So the limit of x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, since uh, kailangan may makancel tayo dito, kasi kapag sinaptitute natin si 2, magiging indeterminate yung function natin. So, ang gagawin natin, so if a factor natin si x squared minus 4, that is x minus 2 times x plus 2 all over x minus 2. So, makancel sa x minus 2, may iwan na lang is yung limit of x plus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, since uh, nandito na tayo sa steps na ito, isa-substitute lang natin si 2 kay x. So, magiging 2 plus 2. The answer is 4. So, yung slope natin ay 4. So, ang sunod na gagawin, i-compute na natin yung equation of the line gamit itong formula na y minus y sub 0 is equal to m times x minus x sub 0. So, yung y natin, Okay, let's copy y minus yung y sub 0 natin is 4 is equal to yung m natin is 4 then times x minus x sub 0 which is 2. So, ito yung mumultiply muna natin yung m natin sa loob ng parenthesis natin. So, just copy first y minus 4. So, 4 times x that is 4x. 4 times negative 2 that is negative 8. And then, transpose negative 4 to the right side of our equation. So, it will become y is equal to 4x minus 8 plus 4. And negative 8 plus 4, the answer is negative 4. So, the final answer or our equation for the tangent line y is equal to x squared is y is equal to 4x minus 4. Okay, for example number 2, uh, find the slope uh, intercept form of the tangent line to f of x is equal to the square root of x at x is equal to 4. So, ganun din ang ginawa sa example number 1. Kunin natin yung given. So, yung x sub 0 natin is yung positive 4. Yung y natin is yung square root of x. And then, yung y sub 0, kapag sinaptitute natin yung 4 dito, so square root of 4 is 2. So, yung y sub 0 natin is 2. So, unang gawin, compute the slope of a tangent line using the formula. So, the limit of square root of x, yung y natin, 
square root of x minus yung y sub 0 natin is 2. Minus 2 all over x minus yung x sub 0 natin is 4 as x approaches to 4. So, kailangan meron ulit tayong makancel dito kasi kapag sinaptitute natin yung 4 dito, this is 0 divide 0 indeterminate. So, ang gagawin natin, i-multiply natin yung numerator and denominator sa square root of x plus 2 para makuha yung radical sign na to. So, isisimplify natin, square root of x times square root of x, that is x na lang. And then, negative 2 times positive 2, the answer is negative 4. And then, after that, okay, so i-copy natin itong nasa denominator natin. So, meron tayong mga cancel na na x minus 4. So, ang maiwan na lang dito is yung limit of 1 over square root of x plus 2 as x approaches to 4. So, i-substitute natin si 4 dito kay x. So, the answer will be 1 over square root of 4 plus 2. So, square root of 4 is 2. And then, add 2. Ang denominator natin is 4. So, m is equal to 1 fourth. And after that, so, let us find the uh, slope intercept form using this formula. So, substitute y sub 0, which is 2, is equal to m, which is 1 fourth, times x minus. So, yung x sub 0 natin is 4 also. So, we're going to multiply 1 fourth to x minus 4. So, 1 fourth times x, that is 1 over 4x, or 1 fourth x, or pwedeng x over 4. Okay, so just copy y minus 2. And then 1 fourth times negative 4, since ito ay mga cancel, so meron tayo ditong 1 na lang. So that will become uh, negative 1. Okay, so again class, kapag ito may multiply natin kay negative 4, negative 1 na lang siya. And then sub to, uh, transpose negative 2 to the right of our equation. So, that is 1 fourth x minus 1 plus 2. So, negative 1 plus 2, the answer is positive 1. So, the final answer is y is equal to 1 fourth x plus 1. Okay, so for example number 3, find the slope of a tangent line. To the, ah, so, this is the equation of the line. No? Pinapakuha dito yung equation of the line. Okay. So, again, find the equation of the tangent line to y is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 5 at x is equal to 1. So, first, identify natin muna yung mga given natin na kailanganin natin sa pag-solve ng equation ng tangent line. So, what are the given? So, yung x sub 0 natin is 1. Yung y natin dito ay yung x squared minus 4x plus 5. And then yung y sub 0, kapag sinabtitute natin si 1 dito sa given function natin, x squared minus 4x plus 5, ang makukuha natin ay positive 2. So yung unang gagawin ay compute the slope of the tangent line using the formula. Okay, so m is equal to the limit of y. So yung y natin dito is yung x squared minus 4x plus 5 minus y sub 0 is positive 2 all over copy x and minus x sub 0 is 1 as x approaches to 1. So, pwede natin to simplify 5 minus 2 is 3. So, that will become the limit of x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over x minus 1 as x approaches to 1. So, again, kailangan natin i-factor siya para meron tayong makancel. So, makakancel natin si x minus 1 dito kasi yung factor nito, yung x squared minus 4x plus 3 is x minus 3 times x minus 1. Kaya makakancel natin si x minus 1. So, ang maiwan na lang is yung limit of x minus 3 as x approaches to 1. So, the answer will be since isa substitute natin si 1 dito, so 1 minus 3, the answer is negative 2. And after makuha yung slope, so proceed na tayo sa pagkuha ng equation ng tangent line. So, substitute lang natin. Yung y sub 0 natin is positive 2. So, y minus 2 is equal to, yung m natin is negative 2, times, so i-multiply natin dito kay x minus 1. Okay, since yung x sub 0 natin is 1. 
So, y minus 2 is equal to negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x, negative 2 times negative 1, that is positive 2. And then, ililipat natin si negative 2 dito sa right side. So, y is equal to negative 2x plus 2 plus 2. So, that will become y is equal to negative 2x plus 4 or pwede din pala natin siyang uh, isulat then as 2x plus y minus 4 is equal to 0. So, nakadepende na rin sa teacher nyo kung paano, kung ano yung final answer nyo. Kasi dito pwedeng uh, hanggang dito lang or ito or ito. So, nasa teacher nyo kung ano yung final answer. Okay, kung hanggang dito lang, or pwede na ito, or ito yung hinahanap niya. Okay, for example, number 4, find the equation of the tangent line to y is equal to 3x squared minus 12x plus 1 at the point 2 comma negative 11. So, yung given natin dito, since uh, hindi binigay yung value ng x natin, since binigay yung point, so, ito yung x sub 0 natin. And ito naman yung y sub 0 natin. Okay, so yung x sub 0 natin ay yung positive 2. And then yung y natin ay 3x squared minus 12x plus 1. So, again, yung y sub 0 natin ay negative 11. So, binigay na kasi dito sa given na point. So, so, compute the slope. Using the formula, so the limit of 3x squared minus 12x plus 1 minus, okay, huwag kalimutan na lagyan ng parenthesis yung negative 11 kasi negative yung sign niya, all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, it will become the limit of 3x squared minus 12x, so 1 minus negative 11, that is positive 12, all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. And then, pwede natin ito i-factor kasi meron silang common factor which is 3, so, that is the limit of 3 times x squared minus 4x plus 4 all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, wala pa rin tayong ma, uh, makakancel dito. So, i-factor natin itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. So, it equals the limit of 3 times x minus 2 times x minus 2 all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, may makakancel na tayo. Okay. Then after that, so the limit of 3 times x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So itong 2, i-substitute lang natin doon. So magiging 0 na siya. Why? Kasi kung ito ay papalitan na natin ng 2, so 2 minus 2, the answer is 0. And 0 times 3, so uh, the slope is equal to 0. And then compute now the equation of the tangent. So, substitute lang natin. So, yung y sub 0 natin is uh, negative 11. Since negative 11 siya, and then meron tayong minus pa dito. So, 1 minus negative 11, magiging positive yun. So, y plus 11 na. And then, since yung slope natin ay 0, so, kapag minultiply natin dito, ang magiging sagot na natin dyan ay 0 pa din. Okay, kasi any number, pag minultiply kay 0, the answer is 0. So, lipat na lang natin sa 11 sa right side. So, it will become y is equal to negative 11. Or, pwede na ito ganito rin yung sagot natin. Okay. Next. For example, number 5, find the equation of the tangent line to the curve f of x is equal to square root of 3x minus 1 at x is equal to 5 over 3. So, given... So, we have x sub 0 is equal to 5 over 3. y is equal to f of x is equal to the square root of 3x minus 1. And y sub 0 is 2. So, kapag sinaptitute natin yung 5 over 3 dito sa x natin, so, makukuha natin dyan is positive 2. And then, substitute natin yung mga values nito sa formula to get the slope of the tangent line. So, the limit of the square root of 3x minus 1 minus 2 all over x minus 5 over 3. As x approaches to 5 over 3, so since wala tayong ma makancel, hindi rin natin sila mafa-factor, so i-multiply natin yung numerator and denominator natin by the square root of 3x minus 1 plus 2 
all over three, the square root of 3x minus 1 plus 2. So, pareho natin imumultiply ang numerator and denominator natin dito. And then, simplify natin. So, if we're going to multiply ito, so, mag iwan na lang dyan, 3x minus 1. And then, negative 2 times positive 2, that is negative 4. And then, copy natin yung denominator natin. So, yan yung magiging denominator natin. And then, after that, Okay, since yung 3x, magiging 3x minus 5 ito, right? Si 3x minus 5 ay pwede natin isulat ng ganito. So, 3 times x minus 5 over 3. Sir, paano, paano naging 3x minus 5 ito? So, kasi class, kapag minultiply natin si 3 kay x minus 5 over 3, lalabas pa rin yung 3x minus 5. So, 3 times x, that is 3x. 3 times negative 5 over 3, makakancel si 3. So, maiwan si negative 5. So, 3x minus 5. Babalik pa rin tayo kay 3x minus 5. So, kailangan natin gumanito para makancel din natin ito. So, the answer, uh, the remaining numerator now is the limit of 3 all over uh, square root of 3x minus 1 plus 2 as x approaches to 5 over 3. So, isa-substitute natin si 5 over 3 dito kay x. So, it will become 3 times 5 over 3. So, ito makakancel ito. So, maiwan na lang 5. 5 minus 1, 4. Ano yung square root ni 4? 2. Dagdag natin itong 2. So, 4 ang maiwan sa denominator. So, 3 fourth. And then, since yung slope natin is 3 fourth, we, uh, we continue now to find the equation of the tangent line. And that is y minus y sub 0 is equal to m times x minus x sub 0. So, substitute lang natin. So, yung y sub 0 is 2. So, that is y minus 2 is equal to our m is 3 fourth times x minus yung x sub 0 natin is 5 over 3. So, we're going to multiply 3 fourth dito sa loob ng parenthesis natin. So, just copy y minus 2. 3 fourth uh, x times Okay, so 3 fourth x times x, what will be the answer? Mm -hmm. Okay, so first, since uh, 3 fourth, now we're going to multiply it here. So that is 3 over 4 x. And then si 3 fourth, multiply natin kay negative 5 over 3. So, as you can see, makakancel natin si 3 dyan. So, ang maiwan na lang, negative 5 over 4. And then, lipat natin si negative 2. Transpose natin to the right side ng equation natin. So, maging 3 fourth x minus 5 over 4 plus 2. So, hindi naman natin pwede silang pagsama dito since may variable tayo dito. So, it will become 3 fourth x plus. So, bakit naging 3 fourth? So, 4 times 2 or... Uh, pinakamadaling paraan, check nyo using your calculator. So, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 uh, minus 5 since negative 5 to. So, negative 5 plus 8 that is positive 3. And then, yung denominator natin is 4. Or, pwede rin naman na hanggang dito lang yung sagot natin. Okay? So, consider na yun Kap kapag sa ibang teacher. Okay? So, ito pinakita ko lang din na pwede rin ganito yung sagot. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.